welcome to men another edition of men's talk um some weeks ago i was um i was chatting with uh, one of my spiritual daughters and um, i had not seen her for some years now and um you know we have not even chatted for maybe some weeks that that time and then when she was like complaining, oh, you didn't ask after me, this and that and so on and so forth. And then in the course of it, I just said to her, I said, you know, I was trying to assure her. So I said to her, you know, you know, I love you. It's not like that. And, so, and then she interrupted me, you know, and when she wants to say something that's a little bit uh, somehow, she will start with, uh, with due respect. So, so she says to me, with due respect, sir, uh, love is an action word. And I couldn't stop, but, you know, I laughed and laughed and said, yes, love is an action word, you know. But then I looked at the seriousness of that statement. It's so true. Love is an action word. What that means is it's, it's okay for you to say it, but actually how we know is to the extent that your actions correspond with what you have said. Okay, so, you know, it, 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 there, I always say that there are certain words that cannot be defined. It can only be described. Love is one of it. You can, be, you can describe it, you can't define it. So, you can say love is, is like you define economics or you define geography or you define... No, it has to be described. That's why the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 described it. You need to measure your love Weigh it, put it side by side with the description that you find in First Corinthians chapter 13. So yeah, yeah, I know you can say it one million times, I love you, I love you, but your actions. You can tell your wife a million times you love her, but your actions. You know, you can, you can, you can do or can, you can tell God you love him, but your actions. So it's very important that you understand and you measure your love by 1 Corinthians chapter 13. You know, it's one thing for someone to talk. It's another thing to say, okay, based on what you say, does what you're saying, does it agree with your action by their fruit? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Okay, so scripture was saying, you know, measure your love, measure your love by 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I know you have said it one million times, but measure that your love with the description of love in, second, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And the list of it, just measure it and then score yourself. Love is an action word. So, God has blessed us men with the ability to say things and there are sweet things and nice things. But then what you are saying, does it agree with your behavior? Love is about action, not only about just saying it. Now, if you put 10 people down and ask them, do you love God? All 10 will say they love God. But by your action towards God, does your action towards God agree with what you say about him? How many times do you speak to the one God that you say you love in a, in a week, in a day, in a month? How many times do you have fellowship with him? How many times? If you say you love someone, you want to spend time more and more with him, isn't it? So if you say you love God, how much time do you spend with God? If you say you love God, how much do you seek to please him? If you say you love someone, you don't want to offend such a person. So how much do you seek to please him? If you say you love someone, you want to know what makes him happy. And then you want to, you, you, you know, you, you want to do it. You want to do what makes him happy. So if you say you love him, how much do you go out of your way to do what will make him happy? Jesus Christ was speaking in, in the book of Matthew. He says, it's not all the people that call me Lord, Lord, that will be saved, that will go to heaven. It is those who do the will 
So it's not enough to say, oh, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Are you doing his will? Are you doing his will? It is the doing that separates you from the talkers. The doers are the one that has an edge over those who just talk. Acts of Apostles chapter 1 verse 1. Bible says all that Jesus Christ began to do and to teach. You don't have a right to teach if you don't do. So love is an action word. Let your actions correspond with the love you profess to your loved ones, to, to God, and to everything that you don't just talk about it. Let your actions correspond, justify, establish what you use your mouth to say. God bless you. Another edition of Men's Talk. God bless you. May the love of God be shed abroad in your hearts now and forevermore in Jesus' name. God bless you.